everyone, Marlene here with Buffalo Check Chicks. It is Grab Bag Tuesday. So what's in store for today? Something really special. This is an old recipe of my mom's passed down from her mother, my grandma, to my mom and now to me. And it's called Apple Pan Dowdy, P-A-N-D-O-W-D-Y. It is delicious and I can't wait to make it for you. Mom's going to be giving me directions, and I'm going to be helping her out in the kitchen. So we need apples. Shortening. Flour. Vanilla. Cinnamon. And sugar. So stay tuned, mom's taking a little nap. And when she gets up, we're gonna make our famous apple pan dowdy. Okay, see you in a bit. So mom's taking her nap and while she's snoozing, I need to wake up. <laughs> it's about 3.30 in the afternoon and I need a pick me up. So, I'm gonna have some coffee. I need some new mugs. I love this Keurig. <laughs> and sometimes late in the afternoon is when I need my coffee. I don't drink much coffee, but I'm really dragging right now. So, Mom's taking a little nap, and I'm going to be making me a cup of coffee, trying to wake up to get ready for our apple pan dowdy. Ooh, I can smell it. Smells good. See you in a bit. Some apple turned out to So what are you doing, Mom? I'm measuring out my flour. And I need three cups of flour. And I got a big bowl sitting right next to you there. So you're going to use a total of three cups of flour. There's two cups. So mom, where'd this recipe come from? Didn't grandma used to make this? So you're, doing, you're making your pie dough. Three cups of flour. <laughs> so we've measured out a cup and a half of shortening and we're going to get that in the bowl okay, go ahead mom you cut the shortening into the flour until it looks just like a meal actually so how's it looking there mom it looks pretty good it's all chopped up, and the flour and the uh, short end is all. And the up. teaspoon of salt. Okay, so Mom's gonna add water, and well, if you spill it, I'll clean it up. Don't worry. So five tablespoons of water. Okay, so she's going to mix in the water into the flour mixture to form a dough. Okay, so you keep adding a little water until you can get your flour and shortening and salt to form a ball. And this is a Ikea rolling mat that we got. This is great, it's silicone, it sticks to the counter. And we're gonna flour the top of it and put the dough on it. 
and go ahead and roll out some pie dough. So we have our rolling pin out and we've got half of the dough formed into a ball and we're going to go ahead and roll it out. Mom is taking some, it's actually country crock margarine, and she's spreading the pie dough with that. So what are you doing now, Mom? I'm going to add cinnamon. The other side's the shaker side, if you want the shaker side. So she's sprinkling the pie dough with cinnamon. And she's also going to sprinkle it with sugar. So these are Granny Smith apples. You can use any apple you prefer. This is a little tartar apple. Uh, Gala apples are also very good, but we're going to go ahead and do Granny Smith today. I'm going to go ahead and get them peeled. So I'm going to uh, cut up, dice up all four of the Granny Smith apples. I'm going to core them, and then I'm going to dice them up. Okay, so there's uh, the diced apples, and we're going to get those sprinkled onto the pie dough. Okay, so there's the pie dough with the apple sprinkled on top. Now we're going to get it rolled up like a jelly roll. So we only used three of those Granny Smith apples because they were big. And another picture, once you roll your pie dough and you roll it up to look like a jelly roll, cut it up in sections and put it in your pan. So after you get everything rolled up and you cut it in probably about two inches, slices and then I've got it in the bottom of a deep Pyrex dish. Now this pie dough did not roll up as nicely as expected but I guarantee you it's still going to be good. So when you roll up your apple pandowdy if you have any leftover apples you can just sprinkle some on top. Now what goes on top of this is a cinnamon sauce. That's why I have the slices spaced out because I want them to be able to soak up the cinnamon sauce. So I'm going to make the cinnamon sauce and I'm doubling this recipe so I have three cups of water, six tablespoons of butter, one cup of sugar and I'm going to stir this up until the butter melts. That's all combined now and then I'm going to add uh, a teaspoon of cinnamon, no, two teaspoons of cinnamon, I'm doubling it, and two tablespoons of cornstarch that is mixed in with a couple tablespoons of water just to thicken it. So let me get my cinnamon in here. Okay, so I've got those things mixed up. I'm just waiting for that butter to melt, and then I'm going to add my cornstarch just to get it to thicken up. Okay, so my cinnamon and everything's mixed up. The butter's melted. I'm going to go ahead and add the cornstarch and I'm just going to continue stirring until it thickens up. So here's the cinnamon sauce and I cooked it until it got thick. I did end up adding more cornstarch and a little water to the mix just to get it thick enough and its gravy thickness. So that I am now going to pour over the apple dough. Okay, so I took the apple pandowdy out of the oven. I cooked it for one full hour. So the cinnamon sauce is all soaked into the, the apple pandowdy. It looks so good. So it's, it's bubbling still, bubbling hot, and it's going to be delicious. 
So I'm going to let that cool for a little bit, and then I will uh, serve some up. All righty, I'll be right back with that. How's the apple pindowdy, Mom? Good. Is it good? Let me see. Really good. Oh, man, that looks delicious. Got to try this. Bye-bye.